So, hey guys, I'm going to be doing an updated model horse collection tour. It's like I got all my new horses settled in and I got my package that I wanted before this video could go up. So I'm just going to go through these guys and just talk, tell a little bit about them if they have something special. Just say their OF name, etc. So, yeah, I got my shells rearranged and stuff like that. So, let's get this video started because we have over 100 horses to go through. So, yeah. And this video may, be, may or may not be long. Okay, so up here on the very top of this uh, shelving unit, this is most of my draft horses, and this house is my Wixom Conga. These are most of my draft horses, and like I said, this house is my Wixom Conga. There is seven of these guys and gals in my Conga currently. I am kind of wanting to expand this Conga some more. So in the very corner right here, this is Con. Then we have the Fun Foles Red Road Mayor. Then we have Equinox, who was a QVC special run from 2002. Then we have Autumn Shimmer, who was a Collector's Choice horse. Then we have Versailles, who was a Briarfest 2015 special run. And then we have Jake, right here. Then we have a Custom, right there. And then we have Vahana, who was a Briarfest 2017 special run. And he's really gorgeous. And then we have Matt Fall, who was a treasure hunt horse from 2010, I believe. And then we have Argyle, who was a 2015, I believe, flagship horse. I only know some of the years of flagship horses, so I'm not going to say all the years. And then we have SPH Phoenix right here. Moving down a shelf, this is where most of my classics live, and some traditional sized ponies. And on this is this um, shelf houses my classic Kathleen or Conga. I have five of these currently in like in my possession, and I have a number. I have a fifth one, but she is still being in the process of being made into a custom. So we have three OFs right here. In the very corner, we have the classic Kathleen. And she was called the Chestnut Half Leaner, I believe. And then we have the Bay Pinto Pony, who came out this year. She She's retired, and this is the one that replaced her. And this is the Dartmoor Mare. And then we have two customs. We have an Appaloosa custom with, um, her coloring looks really weird, but she's in a really nice color. She's really cute. Then we have a Fjord custom, and this one is a guy. I did have the artist re sculpt male parts on this one, so there are four girls and one guy in this conga. Then this is El Punto, and I believe is what he's called. I'm probably butchering that name. I'm so sorry, guys. And this is the classic American Pharaoh. He still has his blanket on, but I need to take that off before it bleeds to him. And then we have Smoking Double Dutch, um, the best of British Highland pony. And then we have Starlight. Then we move on to this shelf, and here's all the horses on this shelf. So we're going to go into... So right here we have the translucent pink breast cancer horse. And then we have Glycero, or Glycero, if you want to say it. He is a flagship horse. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what year he came out in, but I know he's a flagship horse. And then we have... Um, this is the RCMP Musical Ride, I believe is what he's called. And then we have the Overall Paints Mare. Uh, then we have Sosa Line. No, it's Sansella. There we go. And she is a mid states horse from a few years ago. That is her. And then we have Leah's Fancy Chick, and she's a Briarfest 2000, 2000, the year 2000. And she was a celebration horse, I believe. And we have the Clyde Still Mare. And then we have, I call her Glitter because I cannot pronounce her uh, name. Save a life of me, but she's a 65th anniversary horse. She's on Briar's first, um, mold which was the western horse right here. So right here is a Klakta, some Shalike. Um this is my stable mates um shelf with one traditional Peter Stone. Like I said there's a Klakta, there's some Shalike foals, and here's some OF Briar stable mates. Um there is my mini American Pharaoh. And I'm gonna stop and talk about the donkey because the donkey has a funny story. So I have a really good friend here on uh, YouTube and Instagram. On YouTube, she goes by Trek for Freedom Stables, and on Instagram, she goes by um, Red Rambling Rose. And she just got a whole box of the Spirit Blind Bags, and I got my donkey because I only wanted him out of the Spirit Blind Bags, and I got the donkey at Briarfest this year. And uh, I was just like talking to her about how I'm gonna show this guy, even though he has those eyebrows. And she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna show him too, hers, of course." And um, I was like, 
and I was like, you know what we should do? And she's like, well, I was like, we should come up with funny names and then name each other, or f uh, name each other's after those, and then we can show them and then let's see what people say. So we came up with this saying, yin and yang. So this is yin, and her other and hers is a yang. So that is the funny story behind yin right here. And there's some more right here. Let me zoom out. And then here is the blue blueless agate pony right here is what he's called. And he's really pretty, as you can see, he's a blue horse. And on to my cabinet, and there is a new horse in this shelf right there. We'll get to him. So on top of my cabinet, we're not in there, my cabinet quite yet. So on top of my cabinet, we have Skull Duggery, and he's a 2001 Halloween horse. And then we have um, Aurelius, who is a flagship horse. And then we have two Vallegros. We have the original Vallegro, who I love him. We have Glossy Indu, who was a Briarfest 2017 special run. And then we have two Marawaris that are called. We have Nazrudin, who was a Briarfest 2017 celebration horse. And then we have the original Marawari that came out in this mold. And you guys haven't seen this boy. This is my new horse. This is Toro. And he is a flagship horse, and I love him so much. Um, yes, I don't like really move him around because I'm on my top of my cabinet and I really don't feel like moving him around in my hand um, with, with, with the risk of dropping him. So that is my Toro. Toro was a flagship horse, by the way. Now we're into my cabinet and it has changed a lot. So in right here we have my three cigars. We have Glossy and Firm where there's a thousand made of him. The Toys R Us exclusive um, gray cigar. Then we have QBC Seed Biscuit who... It was really nice. He's not, mine's not perfect because he has some rubs and some shiny marks. But if I find a repair artist, I will get him repaired because he's really pretty. We have Lakota, who was a briar, uh, no, he was a tractor supply horse from 2017. Then we have my traditional size American Pharaoh. Then we have, uh, what's her name? Black Caviar. And then we have the Best of British Irish Drop. And then we have. Um, the Europa, and he was from 1998, and all I know is there are roughly 2,000 of him made. Then we have Lionheart, who is another flagship horse. As you can tell, I collect the flagship horses. I'm currently missing three, and then count not counting the one that's coming out in 2018. And then we have the <sighs> J.C. Penny Special Run, and this is Smoke. And then we have O.T. Ceremonie, or Moniet. I don't know how to pronounce her name. And then we have Cupcake, who was from Briarfest 2009. Then back there we have Happy Days, who was from Briarfest 2006. Then we have the, this, I believe this is the Dartmoor Foal. He does not stand at all. And I keep him in my cabinet so he doesn't like get swept off my shelf. And then back there we have the Unicorn 3, as she was called. She was a Toys R Us exclusive horse and she is... Somewhere between 19, the 1980s and 1990s, I'm not sure 100% where she falls in there. I not, don't know quite what year she is. And then right there is, this horse is not mine anymore. He is being, process of being traded. And then we just have some custom sailmates right here. These three were done by High Altitude Studios on Instagram. And then this one right here was done by Princess Pikachu 123. So, yep, there's those guys, and they're little fool. And then there's Bandit. He was from the Elvis Presley Graceline collection. Then we have two pebbles. And then we have, so this is Itty Bitty. Um, right there, Itty Bitty. And then we have my one of a kind. And then in the right there, this is the Briar Resin American Subtle Red right there. And he's not in focus. There he is. And then right here we have JC, who was a 2017 Tractor Supply Horse. We have Gloss, he Juju Valentine. And then we have... Beachcomber, who was a flagship horse, I believe, from the beginning of 2017. And then we have Don John Wynn's Duke, who's another uh, tractor supply horse from a few years ago, actually. And then we have my Chalky Huwin, and then my regular Huwin. Then we have, what's her, well, the non-Chalky War, uh, Appaloosa Indian Pony, and then we have the Chalky War Paint Appaloosa Indian Pony. We have Pride, and we have Dickory, and then we have the Justice Cash. Chocolate Chip Kisses, Little Ricky Rocker, Wapiti, who was another flagship horse, Snowman, and then the regular run, Brunello. Then we have a Briarfest 2014 10 special and store special, or no, 10 special and 1 special, and this is Let's Party. And she's a silver filigree Misty, and she's really cool. And then we have Retro Western Pony, Icicle, who was another flagship horse, 
Mischief Knight, who was a web special Halloween horse, and then there is the original Secession. Down here we have two sales horses. This boy is taken for. Um, he's just chilling down here until he can go to his new home. So he's not for sale. He's asked for. Do not um, ask for anything like that. But this boy is for sale. So if you have any questions about him, please message me on Instagram. My Instagram is actually the same name as my YouTube. So if you have any questions about him, want more photos of him, um, comment down below and message me on Instagram because I want him gone. Last shelf, we have last shelf. We have my full shelf. This has all my foals, but my cl uh, classic half liter full and then my soulmate foals. So we have three ambers. We have Leah's Fancy Briar, which was a Briar Fest 2000. Uh, special run, and then we have twin Appaloosa foals, both sets, and there are the Ashleys that come with them. We have Quick Step, Overall Paint Full, Glossy Heartbreaker right there, Twilight, Cream Sickle, Clyde Still Full, and Luna, as she's called. That is my whole entire model horse collection tour. If you have any video ideas, comment down below. Please let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Like this video. And I will talk to you guys. See you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.